Welcome to Friday Trailer Co. I'm Mallow, the founder. We specialise in bespoke teardrops here in SA. We are down on Moana Beach. I'm going to give you a full product tour of our teardrop trailers. But let's get into the cosy cabin and we'll talk about some of the cool stuff that's inside. So inside our luxury wood cabin on wheels, we've got finely crafted Baltic birch cabinetry. It's a queen size bed. So after a hard day of adventures in the outback, you get to enjoy a wonderful night's sleep on a comfy mattress. We've got storage in the bed head. You've got dimmable LED lighting strips throughout. And then at the back of the cabin, you've also got extra storage for all your clothes, gear, books, camera, all that holiday stuff that you want to take away with you. We've also got ducted airflow, so it's temperature controlled, keeps the cabin nice and cool on a hot day, but you can turn it off when you want to stay nice and cozy on a cold day like today. And in addition to controlling the ducted air from inside, you've got USB power, 240 power, and then you can also control your vehicle management system, which is where you monitor battery levels, water levels, and additional inputs such as solar and DC power. Then on either side, you've also got access through both doors. The mattress is a full queen size bed. It's a dual density mattress, so it's a luxurious sleep. You've got a nice soft top, supportive bottom. After a hard day of adventures in the outback, you get to come home to a wonderful night's sleep. So now that we've gone through the cabin itself, I want to talk to you a little bit about who we are and the way that we do things. Friday Trailers really believes in sustainability and making the least amount of uh, impact on our earth while we're here. So for that reason, we use a lot of sustainable products like wood in our teardrops. We studied all the traditional uh, manufacturing methods and we really believe in a traditional wood cabin manufacturing process, but putting a modern spin on it. So these are actually fully insulated walls. They're 38 millimetres thick, but it's a three-stage laminating process that we do. So in summer, it keeps it nice and cool. It keeps the weight down because it's insulated with a lightweight material, but then it's also using a natural wood material on the outside, so it can break down at the end of, end of its use. Before we jump into the kitchen, which is probably one of my favourite features in our teardrop trailers, I want to talk to you a little bit about some of the things that aren't shown here that we do do, because they're really important. Because Every customer has their own needs and wants out of the next adventure. So for instance, today we don't have an awning set up. We do do three options with our awnings. We do a standard side awning, which is quite large. It covers the side table here, which is included. We do a walled side awning as well, which comes off the side. And both are fittable to either side of the teardrop. So depending on your conditions, you can have one on each side or not. The other awning that we do is a hatch awning which covers your kitchen and that's for days where it might be a bit windy, a bit hot, those sorts of things and you want a bit of shelter. So that's an extra thing there. The other thing that I mentioned there is the side tables. So these are actually fittable on both sides. You get one included with your standard teardrop but you can get a second one if you want more flat storage space for cooking or eating. So depending on the orientation of your campsite you can flip it to either side which is really handy. We also do a drawbar box for storage that comes uh, included as standard and that's typically for your awning, your chairs, all your dirty stuff that you may not want to put inside the cabin. So this is our galley kitchen. This is our fresco dining at its finest. Um, this is where we spent a heap of time on functional spaces, using the spaces that we had to maximise your experience when you're out and about. So you're not having to hunt for stuff, things are cleanly stored. The other good thing about a teardrop, and I'm going to do another video soon about the benefits of teardrops, is that most of the stuff that you have stored in the kitchen is ready to go. So you don't have to pack it every time. So a lot of the dry stuff like your coffee or biscuits, tea, those sorts of things, you can actually leave in the teardrop, which is really handy and saves you lots of time. So I'm going to dive into the actual storage spaces themselves. So up top, we've what we sort of typically call our pantry. So you can put your bread or your dry foods. It's a sliding pantry system. Uh, in this one, we've got it set up with some tubs, um, chocolate biscuits, of course. Um, but you know, you can, you can make it your own adventure really with how you store things in there. And in here, you've got a cupboard for plates, bowls, cups. You've also got 240 volts out also a USB charging, and then you've also got a light switch control. So the kitchen at night is all fully lit. And then we move to our bench, which we try and make uh, as multi-use as we can. So while we've got the chopping block here at the moment, it's actually where your sink is underneath. So that's a fold out tap. 
So it's a multi-use, it's fully plumbed water, you've got a 40 litre tank. The other good thing about our teardrops is it's actually a really deep kitchen bench space, so it's really good functional space. And then we move to our cooking. So this one here is all out. We've got an induction cooktop, uh, it's a 2300 watt unit, it's a dual hob, and it's amazing to cook on. So for a day like today where it's a bit windy, if you had a gas, unless you had a shroud around the gas, it probably would be a little bit frustrating cooking al fresco style. So that's where we offer the induction. So for this system, we've actually got a 400 amp hour battery system, a 3000 watt inverter, and then we've also got, from a charging perspective, we've got 200 watts of solar on the top. So a really big system to power this. But we certainly find this is ample usage for you know, a long weekend, and that's with no top up charge. So if you had solar topping up your charge, you go even longer, or even if you're at a campsite and you had shore power, you can plug into shore power and you go forever. And then below, we've got the cutlery drawer. So ample space for all your knives, cutlery, other utensils as well. And then in the base, you've got all your cooking implements. Um, one thing that I really love to do with the induction, because I'm a bit hooked on induction at the moment, is when you're frying, get one of these, it's cast iron, put it on the induction, awesome for barbecues. You can even get double width ones, so you almost make it like a full barbecue. Then in the middle cupboard, this is just additional storage. You can put your bin, uh, waste, uh, other cleaning things. It's just a general use cupboard. Then we move on to our fridge. It's a 65 litre upright fridge. Uh, it's really easy to use. We went for an upright fridge rather than a pull out chest fridge because in a teardrop, you're constantly wanting to you know, go to the fridge. And if you have a pull out chest freezer or fridge unit, it's a two operation process. So if you just want to grab the milk, it's unclick the drawer slides, pull it out, open up the hatch, hunt for your milk, and then put it all back again. Whereas with this one, you can just open it, grab your milk, and away you go. So it's really user friendly. This one's actually a freezer fridge unit, but it's convertible. So if you wanted to, you can take out that shelf and make it all 65 litres and just have it fridge. Um, with my son, who's seven, I actually have to have the freezer in there all the time because we have to take ice creams when we go camping. Um, but it's your pick, you can do it either way. So this is our kitchen. It's about being in the outdoors, but having all the modern features that you want. So reducing stress when you're cooking and just enjoying the moment. Because I'm, look, I'm here on the beach, I could quickly put on a, a cup of coffee brew up a coffee and you're away. There's no getting out all your gear and setting up a fire, all those sorts of things. It's just giving you back more time and enjoying the moment in a nice scenic place like this. It's been great having you along. It's been a really quick preview of what we've got to offer. If you are interested in a teardrop, please check us out online at fridaytrailer.co. You can arrange a private tour where we can go through all the features and benefits and all the little details that we've put into our teardrop trailers. I better get out of here because the tide is coming in. Uh, luckily, it's quick and easy to put away um, because I am ready and packed. So we'll see you soon. Thanks for coming along.